condom. No condom though. Fuck up all drugs. No condom though. Little ghetto boy. Playing on the ghetto streets. What you gonna do when you grow up? And have to face responsibility. Yeah, we're starting off like that. 27 years old. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, because like... Got my mind on my money soon as I hit the streets. Things are changing. Is that? Yeah. I don't know the words. Yo, Nate Dogg was a fucking beast. Nate Dogg was sick. Yo. But... See, now this is where I have to disagree okay, with okay, you. Okay, okay, yo, let's have this. Uh, you say Nate Dogg was the best singer of all time? In my opinion. You're kind of crazy for that. I might be crazy. Like, you're pretty crazy for that, to be honest with you. But that's how, that's how I feel. I don't know. Uh, call me crazy. I don't even know if that's a reasonable, like, debate to have. Okay, okay. Well, is this is this a reasonable, reasonable debate? Who is the best person to have on a feature? Well, there was a certain point where Nate Dogg might have been one of the best people to have on a feature. Might have been at that time. He was definitely the one. Well, no, you're it, just it, it, you're just playing the joint out there. I never heard before, and it was like, all right, it's cool because Nate Dogg's on the hook, but like, it didn't pop. But no, I agree with you. There was a time when he was the dude. Like when Fabulous came out, was it you can't deny it? I'm a fucking brother. Yo, you don't wanna fuck how... with me. Yo, what f- about Gangsta Nation? <laughs> dun, 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 fire. Dun. These kids right here, we really rope. Ain't it? 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 Ain't was Nate Dogg the original Akon? Yes. He was? Yes. And then Akon came kind of with more singing. Right after that. Right after, like, but, Nate Dogg's run. But who was more talented with singing? Oh, uh, uh, those two? I think Nate, Akon. No. Akon could hit those highs, man. Nate Dogg was fire for the lows. Like... That's why I love Nate Dogg, because like, I have a low pitch voice, so I can sing along to Nate Dogg and not sound stupid. But I can't sing along to like, R. Kelly. But like, the thing is, like, okay, it might not even be the best. I might be wrong about singing wise. He's not the best wise, singer, no. But like, uh, singing vibe. Because like. He had a vibe. That's, that's one Singing vibe, like, man, like, I, I, like when Nate Dogg comes on compared to Akon. Or T Pain after that, like when Nate Dogg came on, it was a whole different, like you know, like oh shit, this is Nate Dogg's part. Like everybody was hyped about Nate Dogg's parts on different songs. It was hyped to get Nate Dogg in a joint back then. Yeah, and yeah, I think about how, how much of a legend Fab is now. Nate Dogg was on the first single. No, because the first single was um. I can't deny. It. No, the Lil Mo joint was the first single. He was, yeah. Su- not superhero, super um, woman. And then Fab, Fab's Fab, first Fab, joint wasn't. Fab's first joint was. It was Can't Deny It. Yeah. Because Youngin was next. He, he was featured on um, a Lil Mo's. He, yeah, that wasn't his he song. He was featured on Lil Mo, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. He was featured on that song. Super but, woman. But, but his first his first joint was Nate Dogg. You're right. Yeah, because then Youngin Pharrell was the next joint. Do you remember the Licks joint with uh, the Neptunes? Gotta do it the best you can. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. Yo, that shit was fire. It was one of the best. Licks the Neptunes joints? back in their prime were fire. Like Yo, before, the, like Pharrell the, was too you, big to work with anyone. Like when the, he used to work the with Licks everyone. And, um, uh, and ODB. Oh yeah, what is when hip, I get drunk or hip hop junkies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yo, I they got I the one song too, where that primo joint I was playing you earlier with the um, seven minutes of funk sample, the one Jay Z used for mm-hmm. "Ain't No" and um, the one that EPMD used for "It's My Thing." That doom, 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 doom. And br- didn't the licks use that for one of the original, like mm-hmm. when I'm drunk or something like that? Hip hop junkies. I don't think it was the ODB joint, but I think it was like earlier in, in the career. Like I'm pretty sure they used that same sample, the doom, 
Yeah. 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 Bone Thugs in Harmony with golf clubs. We can get into that too, but, uh, but I was going to say that was fire. I was going to say a different story of um, so the, the Up and Smoke tour. I wish I would have went to this. Like that's probably you weren't one, outside. That's probably one. Probably one of the most. Were like, you outside back then? I think we tried to get tickets, but it was sold out. Yeah, I wasn't outside. But yeah, so um, there was a. A big thing in the news that Nate Dogg got arrested during this tour, and it was put out on the news that he had a, a, a million dollar bail. Yeah. And so like, they had the, that night they had a show in uh, Anaheim in, uh, in in California, and uh, it was put out in the news that Nate Dogg had a million dollar bail. So then like they're going through the whole concert, and at, at the, the very last song they play is the next episode, and they had. And, and 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 Dre paid the million dollar bail, and all his Nate all, all Nate Dogg days come out and uh, do the smoke weed every day, and like I guess like the the crowd there because I, I, it was like a big news thing that like Nate Dogg got arrested million dollar bail or whatever like that. I like Exhibit was telling the story on like some DVD thing, and uh, he was saying that the crowd went crazy for like half an hour, like like. They couldn't even do anything because the crowd was just going so crazy for like half an hour when Nate Dogg came out and just did that last part. Man, Nate that's, Dogg that's was legendary. so sick. That's legendary. Nate like, Dogg was so sick. Yeah. Like, I remember when I first heard the news about him having the stroke originally. Yeah. Like, that hurt. Oh, for sure. Like, it, it, like it, it, I loved Nate Dogg. Yeah, for me. That's why I don't yeah. want people to get twisted either. Like, I'm not a hater. Yeah. It's just when you say the best singer of all time, I'm like, nah, fam. Like, I'm a, I'm a big hip hop head. The best like, singer of all time ain't even doing hip hop music. Like, Drake ain't the best singer of all time. You know what I mean? Like, the best singer of all time is like <laughs> Michael Jackson. We, 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 uh, this is how I came up. Somebody asked me at, at work. Who are the best two singers of uh, of all time? Why the best two? He said two. For People me. always pick weird numbers. Yeah. So so so, so, so naturally I just said Michael Jackson, and like um, he said the guy from Queen. Oh, uh, Freddie Mercury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay. And then I was I was thinking about it. I was like, I, I said Michael Jackson, but I was trying to think of my n- number two, and I was like, I was like, I just felt I was like, yo. Uh, through Nate Dogg in the in the like I'm gonna be honest, no white person is the best singer of all time. Yeah. No matter how good you are, like there I mean, are singers of other races that yeah. nobody knows of who are better. Look at Whitney Houston, what, what she could do. Yeah, but she's not white. Like that's what I'm saying. No, like, no, no, I'm saying like, but like none, yeah. like Christina Aguilera is one of the few like white people like. That can really pipe it out. Do you think she? Do you think she might be the, the best white singer? Like it's very possible. She's at least top three. I wouldn't disagree with that. Like, who in history really like is touching her? Like, there, there's a few girls. Like, like is Celine Dion good like that? I know she's well respected, but is she like, is she hitting the types of notes Christina is? Like I'm not really that well versed on Celine really too, De- Dion. Too hurt. I'm not big on. There's a couple other white broads who people really respect. Like not well, shit. People do respect but, Cher, but not like her like uh, that. Like but, who? Like but but but, but as far as I, a unique style, like like uh, I, I was just recently watching the the unsung of Nate Dogg. Like the unsung. the unsung shit is sick. Yeah, I watched the special uh, Ed one. Okay, okay. It was kind of cool. Yeah. I was watching the the Nate Dogg one, and, like, one of his big solo songs was Never Leave Me Alone. Okay. And his family said that, like, he never liked being alone. And, like, they even said that's probably why a big reason why, like, he didn't have a lot of solo solo joints. Because, like, he, he never liked being alone. So he didn't like being in the studio by himself and yeah. that kind of... <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's a, co- a kind of cool thing. That's like, trippy. Yeah, and, like, um... He he uh uh oh, I'm brain farting. He's he's not from California. He's from um 
uh, a southern state. But then, like, um, he got raised. Uh, like, uh, his mom was um, in charge of the, the, the choir in the, in the church and shit like that. Yeah. So then, like, that's how he got into, like, that. Singing and shit? He's singing. Okay, okay. So then, like, uh, then, like, when um, at a certain age, um, him and his um, his mom and his dad got divorced, and they moved to Long Beach. And then, uh, and then he met S- Snoop, and he met. And well, he's he, not related to Snoop and shit. Then. No. Okay. No. But uh, one one thing after his first stroke, which was kind of cool about the other song, like he went, um, and and like he started like in California, like he started building building um an actual like uh, choir. He started building. Oh, he, word. He started getting people together. And so, like, he, because his mom never wanted to listen to the stuff, like, he was singing because she was all about the, the gospel choir and, and stuff like that. It was super derogatory shit. Yeah. She was like, yeah, like, why, well, why are you swearing in this? Like, so, like, I, 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 after his first stroke, he went and. See, Nate Dogg was got, mad got, sick, man. Got a choir together and shit like that. I'm like, that's pretty fucking dope. Nate Dogg was sick. Like, I wouldn't put him on the list of best singers of all time, but if we're talking about, like, just like hip hop singers, yeah. I put him on that list. Like he's up there with Akon and those. Do- like you know what I mean. Like I might even rate him higher than Akon. Yeah. Just for like the span and everything he did. Like, like man, even it, just it, 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 little it, it, ghetto boy. It, it just changed the whole vibe when he came on. Shit. Yeah, little ghetto boy. And you'd be pumped, man. You're like, oh, Nate's on it. And uh. Like he was like that song is a classic. That's yeah, like, like uh, uh, that song alone has to be like um, somewhere in the top like hip hop songs of all time. Well, do you know what the crazy shit is? Is everyone you, you agree? Like I don't know, like maybe yeah. like a uh, top fifty, top fifty, top fifty or hundred. I say top fifty. Like it's a good song. I love that song. Yeah, like, but. And I mean, like yo, in hip hop history, there's so many songs. It's like, and it depends what you're judging them on, too. You know what I mean? Yo, what's up? It's your man, MLNY Maloney, breaking records, breaking records radio. You know what it is. I'm just here to tell you guys right now that you want to, if any of my smokers out there, basically, any of my Canadian smokers, now that it's legal, what you got to do is you got to head over to thccollection.com and check them out. And make sure you use the promo code HIPHOP. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. And that's all capital letters. Save 10% on every purchase that you make anytime. They got everything. They got deals every single day of the week, which include like free whatever with whatever you buy. And uh, my favorite is Tulip Tuesday. You can get $100 ounces. And that's only on Tuesdays. And you save 10% on every purchase with the promo code HIPHOP, all caps. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. So make sure you go over there. Check them out. That's THCCollection.com for all your good medical needs, for all your good gr- greenery, your extracts, and all that good stuff. <laughs> 